Hi, this is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and this is an Acer Aspire Switch 11, which is a two-in-one tablet that looks sort of like a notebook when you attach the uh, keyboard and touchpad section here. It normally ships with Windows, but you might notice that it's actually running Ubuntu Linux, which is an open source operating system. Uh, this is a pre-release version of Ubuntu 15.04 that I'm actually running from this USB flash drive. In order to do that, when you first turn on the computer, you can sort of mash the F2 button until you get to a setup screen, and you can disable UEFI boot uh, and secure boot, enable legacy boot, and tell it to boot uh, first from the flash drive instead of from the internal storage. When you do that, you get access to the uh, Ubuntu operating system and user interface here, and support for touchscreen and touchpad. The keyboard does not work out of the box, and there might be a way around that, but the easiest thing that I've found to do is to just go ahead and plug in an external keyboard. Uh, makes it a little bit awkward, and it's not something that you necessarily want to take around, uh, you know, carry a big keyboard with you. Um, you might be able to find a smaller one if that's something you really wanted to do. But it's the reason why I didn't want to install this to the solid state drive, and instead just sort of run it from the, the flash drive. Um, in terms of overall performance, it seems to work pretty well with um, Ubuntu. So you can see we've got uh, the web browser open here. We can use the touchpad. It supports multi-touch gestures like scrolling, loads web pages pretty quickly. It's connected to uh, my 802.11 uh, BGN network here, 5 gigahertz or uh, 2.4 gigahertz. We can go ahead and fire up some video, do some full screen. I keep wanting to hit the keyboard, but I need to hit that one instead. So let's go ahead and pause it. You can see that there's support for third-party applications. We've got the Ubuntu Software Center here. I can also open up a terminal window. Although sometimes it takes a moment to remember that it's got a terminal application. Let's try... Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. Scroll down here. There we go, terminal. And from here we can sudo apt get install third party application. So say you want a word processor, just go ahead and install it. It'll download that, install it, and you have access to a word processor. Uh, you could also, of course, use the software center. Just wanted to show you there's an option to do things the geeky way. So uh, everything works except the keyboard. It's kind of uh, an important feature, but it is nice to know that if it's not the most important feature for you, you can get that to work on the system, uh, get uh, everything else to work on the system. And that application we just installed is right here. So uh, this machine has an Intel Core i3 Haswell processor, 4 gigabytes of RAM, 128 gigabytes of storage, and it uh, ships with Windows 8.1 software, but it will run Ubuntu Linux as long as you don't need this particular keyboard to work. This is Brad Linder with Lilliputing, and a quick look at Ubuntu running on the Acer Aspire Switch 11.